Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. designer who has show for so many years now during Fashion Week, Milan Breton. He has always an amazing collection. His clothes are always beautiful, well tailored, beautiful men's suits, beautiful women's wear. Milan, tell my audience what the inspiration for this season was. This season was James Bond for the men and then for the women it was the mermaid, the silhouette of the mermaid's body. James Bond. I mean, I could see it with you because you are such a dapper dresser, oh, and the way you. you dress the men. I mean, this would be perfect. This line of clothing would be perfect for the next James oh, Bond movie. Oh, that would be amazing, actually. I, um, Daniel Craig, I right? Know, genius. I just met him a couple of weeks ago. Such a lovely man. And is he the one that inspired you to? Well, create I, actually, this? Sean Connery always will be my James Bond. Uh, you me know, like, too. J yeah, Sean Connery. He's absolutely, absolutely genius. Absolutely. So genius. he was your favorite of all the James. Of all the James Bonds, I think he was the most, I think the most stylish of all of them, really. The most suave, the yeah. most sophisticated, the most exactly. debonair. Just that look in the eyes and everything was just genius, genius. Fantastic, fantastic. But now, out of all the James Bond women, mm -hmm. who did you like the most? You know who I loved? Um, what is her name? Bissette. Really? Yeah. I think, I think she was beautiful. And also, I loved, uh, from the 1960s, the blonde, um, what was her name? Anna Blackman? Yeah, yeah. I know, Love wasn't her. she cool? Love her. I so loved cool. her too. I yeah. absolutely adored her. Beautiful. I thought she was like one of the hottest James Bond. Really beautiful. And I also liked the Goldfinger one. Yeah, I just too, actually. She had a very small part in it, but she was very beautiful. Very beautiful. 
Well, the collection was really amazing, and Thank I really you. enjoyed it. I got here a little late because I was stuck in traffic because I came all the way from Long Island. Oh. But to thank be, you for here. Being here, but I would never miss your shows. You know, I would never miss. As long as you're having shows, I will be there. Thank you. Thank I want you. you to tell my audience where can we go to find out more information about Milan Breton. If you go to www.milanbreton.com, and I also have a column in OK Magazine that comes out weekly on celebrity style. Thank you. In a moment, guys, some more interviews right here backstage at the Metropolitan Pavilion during Mercedes Benz Fashion Week and New York Fashion Week. More celebrities, more shows, and more fashion coming up. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back. We're backstage at Milan Breton, and I'm here with this fashionista. Oh, I'm the fabulous Takara. Fabulous, Takara, and you are here from, tell my audience a reality show that you're on. I was on America's Next Top Model, and I'm here um, supporting Milan right now. He just did a fabulous runway show here in New York City, and it was just amazing. So I just came to show my support. Well, you, you look fabulous. Tell my audience what you are wearing. I'm wearing Catherine, Catherine Maladrino. Mm. Wonderful. And the stall, is that also Catherine Mellinger? No, actually, I got this from Saks. Mm -hmm. And I got a pair of my blue Louis Vuitton on one. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to say you fabulous. You look gorgeous. Tell my audience what you're up to this fashion week. What shows will you be attending after today? I'm attending a lot of fashion shows. Actually, when I leave here, I'm going to the fashion show that's honoring um, Leon's Halley. So I'm on my way oh, over that's there. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's lovely. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. And what shows have you seen before? Anything before? I just went in New York, and this is the first show that I'm hitting the ground running with. Oh, it's good that you came, because tomorrow's the last day, really. Yeah, well, I'm going to hit up. Tomorrow's going to be fun, you know? You got to come in with a little bang. <laughs> Tell my audience, where can we go to find out what you're up to and what you're doing? You can follow me on my Twitter page. I am Takara, T-O-C-C-A-R-A. Beautiful. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, dogs, with more interviews right here backstage at the Milan Breton Show. Keep watching more interviews, more fashion coming up at New York Fashion Week. Big champagne kisses. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we're backstage here at Milan Breton, and I'm here with these gentlemen, and they are big fans and big supporters of Milan Breton. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. Tom Marquis, celebrity hairstylist. Robert Pendleton. Larice Duran. You guys love Milan, obviously, oh, yeah. right? What do you think is so special about his collection? Uh, it, it tends to be dramatic in a mysterious and sexy way. Absolutely. Tell my audience, what was your favorite out of the whole collection that you saw this afternoon? I tend to like the, the solid black. So the, the solid black with the purple tie, with, with the shiny suit, that, that, was, that was my particular favorite. Larice Stalling, you as a fabulous designer, Larice Saran fashion designer, tell my audience, what did you think of the collection? Don't you think it would be very appropriate for a James Bond flick? You know, Milan is a very sophisticated man, so of course anything he's going to design for men is going to be very sophisticated. This turn he took into menswear is very interesting because he brings his own personal sensibility to the clothing. My favorite part of the whole thing is his use of the burnt orange injected into the collection to give it a pump, and that was very interesting to me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, you guys are great. Tell me, you where, great. thank you so much. Where are you going after this? I think I'm going to Brooklyn for a little bit. Are you going to see any more shows the rest of the week? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which ones yet, but someone will tell me soon. <laughs> what about you guys? Where are you both going after this? We're headed to our boutique. We've got, oh. we've got, we've got a working day ahead of us. Yes. <laughs> we didn't show this, collect, this collection for Fashion Week New York because uh, we were late with fabrics and finished patterns, but we're going to show for Press Week in March, which does the same idea. We're concentrating very much this season on our market, our international marketing. Uh, uh, and it's going to be um, very good. This season, it's all about business for us. Terrific. Terrific. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about you as a stylist? Uh oh, tommarkey.com. Spell that. T H O M M A R K E E.com. Marquee. Uh, yeah, I work at Lovely Fools. It's I a great love place. It. I love it. 
it's a great place. And Lorise, you tell everybody your website. It's LorisDuran.com, L-O-R-I-S, D-I-R-A-N.com. Fabulous. You guys are the chicest men <laughs> in Manhattan. The chicest. Give me a kiss. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> the best hair in the industry. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews, more fashion right here at New York Fashion. We keep watching, darlings. Big champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.